you know you're talking to me, you know you're talking to pride.com. This visibility, this representation, yeah. especially going on in the world right now, it is so important to see rock stars like you on that stage doing what you love. The most activism I could do is just be authentically me with my band have these songs that people know and then invite them into our world and see that there's a little depth there. And there's actually a story there to follow if you care to. From the beginning, Neon Tree shows have always been a, a place where people can leave their sh the door and just like enjoy for the night. And I think that's only become truer and truer as we've evolved as people, as I've become a more confident person. Um, and I am so unafraid now of being exactly who I am on stage. I think there were a lot of times early on where I, I used my flamboyance and the glam and, and the over-the-topness. In a way, almost, it sounds weird, but to hide. And yet I was like in, like hidden in plain view, right? And I think now there's this real uh, synergy that's gone on in my life where I'm not depending solely on like switching into this, this larger than life version of myself. I'm really just feeling purely myself and and I don't have room now for like someone not understanding who I am or or pushing back or preventing me from like shining that light and I think in turn that's given a lot of confidence to like I, I've definitely seen in like my younger fans and fans that like maybe only live online or only live in their bedroom or only live in the space where they feel the safest and I think I want those kids to come out come to the show see that there's someone else that's been through it, that's been honest about what they've been through. And there's at least a tiny, I don't want to be a role model by any means, but a tiny example of someone that can like still be doing it and still finding love and passion in it against a lot of odds, right? Like I think this industry was not built for people like me. I'm, I'm, I'm empathic, I'm um, really observant and it's a really like, you know, sharky, gnarly place out there. And I think I like to be someone that can give a little bit of levity to the whole thing. Well, you're seriously doing such a fabulous job, girl. I know for me, like since day one, <laughs> following you guys and seeing you in shows, like I started just being this little closet kid and I'd be like, yeah, everybody talks, everybody, you know, like <laughs> now it's like, girl, I am like belting all these songs, living my best gay life. And really it's thanks to seeing people like you in front oh. of being vulnerable about your journey. So not only is it amazing to see how confident you've become, but you've instilled a lot of confidence in us as well. So thank you for really oh, doing it. Oh, oh, I appreciate you so much. Thank you. That's, that's awesome. And now last question for you. I remember when I saw you um, perform here in Vegas, the whole fam came down from Utah. Everybody was here to support. Are we expecting to see some more family appearances this time around? <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Um, my mom is just shy of 70 now, but she will, she will she's booked She's booked and busy this, <laughs> this fall. <laughs> the family support, is more supportive than ever. So um, yeah, and that's, that's the gift of my life, right? Like that I can have friends and family that see me for who I am like when all the like glitz and glam and the like lights go down and the hoopla goes down I still have that real core and I know that people don't always have that so I am super grateful for that yes well thank you for sharing that love with us you're our core in a lot of ways Mr. Thang so thank you so much for everything <laughs> that you've done for us and I literally cannot I'm counting down the days until you're out here in a couple of months cannot wait to see you in concert baby. thanks Ricky and keep killing it I love seeing you pop up on TikTok and Reels and all that. Sorry, I just swore, but okay. no, it's fun to watch your rise as well. So keep doing your thing.